Hi guys, Blue Curry Productions here, bringing some more Minecraft Pixelmon. And today I'm going to be catching two of the legendary birds, which will be um, Articuno and Zapdos. But before I do that, I'm going to show off my Eevees that I leveled up and, you know, evolved off screen. First, here's my Flareon. I gave him a Firestone. Now he is a Flareon. Here's my Leaf Eevee, which I train next to a, what's it called, a uh, Mossy Rock. My Jolteon, I gave a Thunderstone. Vaporon, I give a Water Stone. And these are the Eevees I have so far. I'm still trying to get a Shiny Eevee. I can't wait until I get that. I have an Eevee Egg in my PC. But I'm not sure if I want to train it yet. Well, not train it, but, you know, hatch it yet. Or go about hatching it yet. Because I'm trying to level up my EVs a bit. I'm trying to make them all level 50. Play on to level 50, because he seems to be able to do the most damage to other Pokemon. Of different varieties, but the other ones kind of seem to struggle. Probably because I probably didn't teach him that well of moveset. But at least I taught my Leafy on, what's it called, um, Sunny Day and uh, Solar Power. So he can hit with, you know, 100% equity. Also, I'm getting rid of all this crap I don't need. Because, really, who needs a bunch of random things? Like, what? This Icy Rock I'm gonna keep. I got it out of a Lucky Block, and I can use this to level up a Glaceon, which I may add to my team because. Glaceon is one of my favorite EV evolutions besides Vaporeon because it's an ice Pokemon, it is blue, and that's it. That's the only reason. So now I'm going to head to the shrine on top of the haunted mansion type temple thing. And I'm going to, you know, level up my Pokemon and we're going to catch us some legendary bird Pokemon. And there it is. A look at this. I mean, it's so appropriate for these shrines to be up here. In fact, these shrines should have been up here. But I went to create them over and put these shrines here because I can't really build them that I know. And look at that. Articuno. Look at that. Look at that beautiful bird Pokemon thing. And why is it flying away? What? What's going on? Why is it, why is it flying away? Come back here. I need to catch you. Don't, don't fly away from me. Okay. And go Master Ball. Okay. I'm waiting. I know it's not going to fail, so. And my first legendary was captured. Articuno. I feel like the legendary birds are the easiest Pokemon. Well, not the easiest Pokemon to catch. But the easiest legendary to, I guess, get. That was the, like, easiest one to summon. Because all you have to do is get an orb, make it full power, and then put up a shrine. And then that's it. The shrines are hard to find. But at least you don't get, like, at least it's not, like, 100% random when they'll get up here. It just depends on if you find their shrine or not. If you find the shrine... Then all you gotta do is go back to that shrine. And also, there's supposed to be a mystery dungeon in this game. Or mod, I've never seen any other YouTuber find a mystery dungeon in the Pixelmon mod ever. But apparently there's this mystery dungeon and I wanna find one. I don't know if they have it in this world and if they do I don't know where I would go to look for it but I would know I want it because it would probably be really awesome probably have the dopest of Pokemon freaking awesome gear and crap yep look at this look at my Articuno I'm sorry Charizard but it's on a Kuno and I'm gonna put the egg in in a second but first let me get rid of Flareon because Flareon you're already level 50 we need some other level 50s, and plus I have this fossil 
that I made in the last episode, but I never put in because I, you know, was uh, turning him into a Pokemon and not a fossil. So I'm gonna spend some time leveling him up and maybe seeing what kind of stats my Articuno has. Being a level 70, I know he doesn't really have good moves at the start. Okay, so he has a good defense. His speed is down, but you know what? Speed isn't everything. Okay. Oh, he has ancient power. That's awesome. That's I think that's a pretty good uh, what's it called um, attack. I mean, I, I think it's better than pack and drill pack maybe. I don't know. Okay, well, the widening him is weird, but okay. But at least I can kind of see over him. Unlike those other Pokemon when I try to ride them and I can't see Jack. Okay, so what is what is down here? Mm-hmm. Nope, nothing. Wait, there's a Geo dude. Is he gonna be worth it? I'm trying to find some high level Pokemon. Yeah, level 38. You'll be good. Oh wait, well, I didn't want to send out you. Well, I might as well see what kind of ability you got. So you only have one move that's an attack. I don't know if Miss is really an attack that actually does damage, but I think it's like, I think it's like a uh, hell kind of thing, where you use the attack and it like continues attacking throughout the whole battle. I think it's like hail and sandstorm, probably somewhere along those lines. Okay, and you got destroyed. Well, you know, I think it just makes it harder for the Pokemon to attack or something. I don't really know what Mist does. Oh, he dropped an iron ingot. I should fight these things more often. Because I've been needing ore. I mean, I haven't been needing ore recently. But when I do need ore, I have all the stuff for freaking Mewtwo and crap. And I'm not finding any kind of freaking sign of a legendary. Like, I feel like... I mean, by now, it should be at least showing me some of the text saying blank has spawned in this biome. Like, how, how rare the legendary is. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even close to finding any legendaries besides the ones that I found. Like, the rare legendaries, the super rare legendary. I mean, I really want to catch me a Mewtwo. A Mewtwo would be amazing to have. I don't touch my freaking... What's it called? Oh, what? Why is it when I gave Thunder Tampa whilst he kept missing with it, but then I give it to Jolteon and he's balling with it? Like, what? That doesn't even make sense. And Falls, I think you need to do better. I think you need to think about what you've done to me. And the position you have put me in. Because uh, right now you kind of... Yeah, like look at this. He's hitting people with thunder way more than you do. Uh, what what does that say? And I don't even have to train, teach him rain dance. So, um, do better. Or uh, get dropped. Because I will drop you. If I must. Even though you're level 60... I don't think I won't leave you for Joy uh, what's that? Jolteon because right now he's kind of uh you know kind of one-upping you and I need Pokemon that can do and can't do well then you get left behind I'm sorry that's just the way it is there's no amount of training that I can do to save a Pokemon that just won't if it won't then it's gone and that's how the Pokemon works. You get Pokemon, you train them. If they aren't well rounded, you have to leave them. And they will be missed. But it is okay, because you have new Pokemon to take the place of those old Pokemon. And that's what Ash is. Ash. That's what Ash does all the time in the Pokemon series. He gets he goes to a new freaking region, leave all his other Pokemon behind. And get new Pokemon. Except Pikachu. He takes Pikachu everywhere. Even though Pikachu should be his strongest Pokemon ever. Since 
Pikachu has been on every journey, fought every Pokemon. Really, Pikachu should be Ash's strongest Pokemon, and Pikachu really shouldn't be losing battles because you have so much experience battling. You think that he would be like freaking the ball of Pokemon of forever, but nope. Ash and his Pikachu still lose fights. Well, Ash still loses fights with his Pikachu, and it really doesn't make any sense. And he loses the what's it called Pokemon Leaf every time he fights in the Pokemon Leaves. And what the heck? Oh crap! Uh, my music thing is like, uh, stop it! I w was listening to music while I recorded this. Hold on, yes, I got, I got rid of the thing. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. I was listening to music as I commentate over this video because I just felt like, you know, I wanted to hear something that wasn't Minecraft music. So I have my headphones, I'm listening to music, watching all these Pokemon walk around me. Why did I use Harden? Nobody needs Harden. Get left. Okay, yes, Sleepyon, because you're rock ground type, I believe. Use Sunny Day, and then use uh, Solar Beam. And you got wrapped. Don't take on the Master Pokemon, because I will wreck you. Me and my Pokemon over 9,000 will take you out anytime, any day, anywhere. As long as we have freaking Pokemon swag, we'll win forever. Okay, um... He's already level 18. I don't know when he will evolve. But I hope he evolves soon, because... I mean, I really... I think I may keep this Pokemon, because I don't have a ground type. And I think this is a ground bug type. And it has a water type move, which is really surprising because it's a ground bug type. So that's kind of weird that it has a water type move. I saw it has water gun. That doesn't make much sense, but I will accept this. And also, this is like a Pokemon that I'm really fond of. It's like one of the only fossils that I actually care that much about. From, uh... I don't know what gen the fossils started, or what fossils, or what from what gen. I like to think this is a gen 3 or gen 2 Pokemon, but it's probably not. And I'm probably getting that so wrong. But all I know is I like, this is like one of the only fossils that I really care that much about and would use in my party during Pokemon at any time. Cause yeah, yeah, there's those other fossils, like the flower looking fossil, the uh, dinosaur, the dinosaur looking thing. But I feel like this one's a ball form, it's just a better one out of all of them. I mean, yeah, the other ones have awesome evolutions and all, but I feel like this one is the one that I think looks the best. Now, strongest wise, I wouldn't know which one as a strong evolution probably you know what depends on how you train it but I just feel like look wise this Pokemon's fully a level fully evolved form is just one of a kind and one that I would really would just like to add to my team that is it I can't explain it in much more detail than the fact that I just love the fact that it evolves and looks just awesome and I'm going to start leveling up my Eevee egg because I need this Eevee egg to hatch because I don't know if that Ditto and Eevee has made a shiny Eevee yet. I have to hatch the egg to find that out. But if I get a freaking shiny Eevee, I'm putting that in my team and I'm making it a Glaceon because a shiny Glaceon is hard to come by. I would not just leave my white shiny EV just an EV because it's too good to just leave an EV. Why would I leave a white EV, man? That doesn't make any sense. We're not going to have a shiny Glaceon. I mean, to be honest, EV isn't that good of a Pokemon 
when it's a normal type. Normal types don't learn that sort of a move set. Evolving an EV is awesome. Uberon, awesome. Other types of EV that is a normal type EV, those those EV are awesome. Normal EV is just not. I don't think he's that good. I mean, you can teach him some TMs, but th by the moves he learns normally, I just do not think he would be that effective to me, or in fact, anyone in a battle, unless you were fighting a really weak Pokemon. Your EV was like a level 100 and you were fighting a level something else. Or you teach it a move that is worth the time and effort and it's really good. Like maybe Bite could do some damage, but I'm not seeing that EV using many good moves that would actually affect the battle in his favor. I feel like in the test that's that EV. And above DV is spectacular. He's like every Pokemon in one except for Bug type, Dragon type, uh, what else? Um, poison type. He isn't. Let me see. What other types are there? I said Bug type. Not Ground type. He's not Rock type either. Or Steel type. Fighting type is not that. He's almost every type, but not quite. He's like the types that people care most about. Yeah, but to be all in all, Eevee is a really decent Pokemon with some really decent attacks, with really decent stats. And if I had to choose, if I could only choose six Pokemon, Eevee would probably be on that list. Out of all the Pokemon and Pokemon, Eevee and probably Pampor because I don't know why, but Pampor, I don't know, he just connects with me. We just have this unspoken, like, we can, what's his name from uh, Pokemon Black and White, the gym leader, the green one. Guy with the green hair. He has his pants age. I have my pan paw. I'm like his blue haired brother. He has his pan paw. I would have my pan paw. My pet paw would win because my pet paw would use Shadow Claw and wreck his face. Yes. I'm really not sure when this thing evolves, but when it does, it is going to become a permanent member of my team. Well, wait, what were on my team originally? Let me see, it was a Lapras, a, um, let me see, Lapras, Kalio, Zoark, Charizard, um, what else? I, I used to have a Bayleaf, which fully evolved, but then I was like, eh, you're not that good, so I ditched it. Oh, wait, for a sec, oh yeah, wait, I just realized. I still have that, um, uh, for alligator and, uh, last toys giving birth to Pokemon. I should collect some of their eggs and try to see if I get, like, an awesome last toys with awesome attack or something. Okay. I don't have enough attack. Do you don't have an attack. Okay. This doesn't do anything. Okay. So, uh, this is not helping. You don't have an attack, so I'm gonna have to change my Pokemon. And. Boom. And, yeah. So, guys, I'm gonna end it here. In the next episode, I'm gonna continue leveling up my Aerith. And I'm gonna try to maybe find a Legendary. I don't know. But until then, I am Blue Curry Production, shining off with you guys an awesome Friday night.